네 어쿠스틱 좀 아는 남자들의 기타 리뷰 어쿠스틱 타임즈 지금 시작하겠습니다 오늘 아주 귀한 손님을 모셨습니다 자 어이. 오늘 <웃음> 앤드런드를 모시고 리뷰를 할 바로 시작해 보도록 하겠습니다 nice 저희가 3년 만인데요 Good to see you again nice to see you. Yeah. 3년 반 만에 지금 저희가 다시 스튜디오에서 만나게 됐는데 오늘 명음씨가 같이 왔으면 참 좋았을 것을 명음씨가 하필이면 또 지금 개인적인 사정으로 오늘 참여를 못하게 돼서 아쉽게도 둘이 같이 진행을 하게 되었습니다 어. 여러분들 기억하실 텐데요 아시아 수출 총괄 이사직을 맡고 계신 테일러의 아, 앤디 런드 저번에 같이 재밌는 이야기도 하고 브레이싱에 대한 우리가 설명도 좀 듣고 그리고 같이 기타 연주도 하면서 되게 재밌는 시간을 보냈었는데 오늘은 그동안 코비드 시국에 있었던 또 새로운 뉴스들을 한번 들어보면서 또 새로운 모델들 그리고 또 기술적인 그런 설명들 재밌는 이야기들을 4시간에 걸쳐서 들어보도록 하겠습니다. Say hell to the subscribers of this channel. Hello, everybody. Nice to nice to be back here at, yeah. at Busby. And I have to I have to tell you guys that you guys are famous at my company. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, because because when I come here a couple times to make videos mm -hmm. with you guys to do content, I always show pictures. I have to do presentations for my company sometimes, no. <laughs> and so I have to tell them what I worked on when I was overseas. Mm. And um, I've shown your picture with this backdrop oh. many times to people, so they 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 know they know about this channel. It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. good to hear from you. You're famous. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> 네 그러면 첫 번째 어, 이야기를 한번 해볼까 합니다. Uh, it must have been hard for you to go through COVID-19. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It? It's hard for all of us, right? I mean, I think we're all a little bit changed. Yeah. Right. Well. Um, yeah, it was a tough time, and. Uh, You know, for for me, especially, I was I was so used to traveling. Mm. I spent most of the last 10 years on the yeah. road, and so I was used to that lifestyle and used to the excitement mm. and uh, the energy yeah. that I would get from going to different places mm. and meet different people. And then all of a sudden, it was just like, stay at home, mm. don't see anybody, <laughs> don't talk to you know, just just online meetings. You know? mm. it was, it was so I'm sure it was the same for you, right? Yeah, yeah. right. Two, two years, two yeah. or three years. Right. Yeah, yeah, mm. crazy. Uh, it's more tough for you than Taylor. More tough for me than, yeah. than Taylor. Um, well, we 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 had it. We actually did. I think that uh, my company, Taylor Guitars, managed it mm. pretty well. Yeah, we have we have uh, over 500 people who work in California, mm. and then another 300 people who work in Tecate, Mexico, mm. and so the company had to figure out how to. Keep all people employed. Oh, how to pay them? Really? You know, and and actually redesign mm. the workspace. When the time came to sort of get back to work, mm. they had to redesign the whole factory so mm. that that people were apart from one another. Yeah, and safe, as safe as they could be. Mm. So it was a lot of work for um, our uh, human resources department to yeah. figure out all that, and then the production people had to figure out how to. Redesign the workflow mm. of the factory, you know, and and like the 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 human resources people all of a sudden had to be like mm. nurses, and mm. they they had to know all of this health stuff that nobody had to yeah. think about before. Mm. So it was a um, it was a lot of work, but I think that I, I felt really lucky actually mm. because I I always felt like they were doing the best they could to take care of the employees. Mm. But it took a long time. But we're back. We're back now. Mm, and yeah, we, we're back. We're back, and we actually have a lot of guitars, and mm. we've had a lot of success with developing new products. That that was the good side mm. of the whole the whole two three years, um, is that it gave our our design team, uh, especially Andy Powers, um, it gave him time to work on projects that he'd wanted to do for years. Yeah, now CEO, Andy Powers. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's CEO, president, yeah. and mm. chief guitar designer. So mm. he, he has three, three oh, jobs. Oh, three jobs. <laughs> <laughs> he's a busy guy. Yeah, busy guy. Yeah. <laughs> Hard yeah. worker. Hard yeah. worker. Yeah. yeah, he's a smart guy. But So he has a lot, mm. he has a lot to do. Mm. Um, also, during that time, the, the original founders, Bob Taylor and Kurt Listug, mm. made the company an ESOP. Yeah. Mm. which is an employee owned company. Mm. So they they wanted they always wanted the company, they wanted the future of Taylor Guitars to mm. be run by guitar people. Mm. Not by bankers. Yeah, by guitar people. By That's guitar good, people. Yeah. So you know, they've had many I'm sure they've had many offers to buy the company mm. over the years. But they decided in the end that the best future would be to 
um, put it in the hands of the employees. Mm. So they got that done in 2020, actually, which yeah. is a crazy time mm. to try to do that kind of work. But they, they got it done in 2020. They announced it to, every, to all of us. And then in 2021, they named Andy mm. um, as chief guitar designer, CEO, and president. It's really hard to do that. Yeah. To, yeah. How to do like that in this situation. Well, it was, yeah. you know, like I said, I think that's part of why I always felt like they did a good job managing it. And mm. I felt always that they were, mm. they were moving forward. Mm. Moving you know, there's, forward, yeah. there's, what else are you going to do? You get the people who is good at moving forward and yeah. who is good at business or yeah. something yeah. like that. And that, that really reflects just, I think, the whole philosophy mm. of the way that the company has been run from the very beginning. Mm. In three years, three years yeah. of many things. It's touching. It's good to see you again. <laughs> it's good to see you <laughs> yeah. again. It's good to be here. Yeah. yeah, okay. Are there new models that came up recently? So one of the things that Andy was able to achieve was to launch a, a whole new line called American Dream. Mm. And it was difficult because during that time, all the musicians uh, were not playing shows. They, weren't, mm. they couldn't play live. And we wanted to make sure that, that we had a, an affordable guitar, a high-quality affordable guitar that we could offer mm. in those times because nobody... Nobody knew what was going to happen. Yeah, you know, it was a very difficult time. There was so much uncertainty. Yeah, and we also had to come up with a way to make those guitars with the materials that we had mm. in the in the warehouse mm. because there was nothing coming in. Yeah, there was no logistics supply. Mm. You couldn't get. We couldn't get rosewood for a while. We couldn't no. get lots of different no. things. So we had a good stash of Olven call, and uh, Andy um, came up with. Um, uh, the the least expensive USA made line mm. called American Dream. Yeah. And we, we now we have three models of that guitar. Mm. And we have reviewed several eighty guitars. Uh huh. Yeah, already. Yeah. It was so good. It yeah. was like yeah, yeah really like it was like American Dream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now um, actually we just um yesterday when I was mm. here I got an email about three more guitars that are mm. coming out and they're mahogany tops. Mm. mm. So you'll, maybe we'll send you some of those in the future. You can have a review of those. Hmm. We have reviewed Blacktop. Mm -hmm. Blacktop and uh, 17, 27. 17, 27, mm -hmm. yeah. 22 maybe. 22. Yeah. Uh, flame Top, 27. Yeah. Flame Top, 22. Yeah, 22. Uh, You've already reviewed the Flame Top? Yeah, already reviewed yeah. Flame Top. What, what, what did you think? It's a different guitar, huh? Mm, yeah, different sound. It's, it's quite different. Yeah. And it was like, uh, it was like a new shape. Great yeah, Pacific, it's a Pacific yeah. shape. Yeah, but it's also a maple top guitar. I mean, mm. that's it's very strange to see a maple top. Mm. Yeah, dreadnought. It's um, but it has yeah. a very a very cool sound. I think it's not typical Taylor sound. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. No, and and that's actually that's actually I think part of the story that's interesting. Mm. Um, and this is all coming from Andy Powers mm. because for the first forty years of the company, mm. the most of the designs came out of Bob's head, mm. Bob, Bob Taylor's yeah. head, and um when andy started started he kind of redesigned for the for his first project he sort of redesigned bob's 800 series mm. and then since then he's had complete design uh, mm. control mm. so he he hears differently and and the sound that even this body shape grand pacific mm. is a, is by itself is a different taylor sound mm. yeah it also has free bracing right yeah yeah, yeah this yeah. is all yeah, yeah. v-class bracing mm. in this so the the choices for a customer now are wider mm. there's more choice and and it's not no longer just the taylor sound it's yeah that's the good point yeah that's it's good several point. taylor sounds mm. so that's exciting i think what is the point that makes a different sound in this guitar um this this is a couple different things the grand the grand pacific body shape is his slope shoulder dreadnought so it's mm. replaced the the older dreadnought that taylor used to mm. make this is a new body shape that he designed V-class bracing, mm. which makes it has its own sound, mm. but this particular guitar is probably a combination of it's a it is a maple top, which mm. is an, an, uh, a choice that we're not used to seeing. Mm. We're used to seeing maple on the back and sides yeah. of guitars, of acoustic guitars, mm. but not on tops. Mm. But if you think about it, the violin world, the you know um, cello world, those those instruments many times have that kind of, have a maple top as yeah. well. So it is a yeah. stringed instrument. Top. Right, yeah. So the combination of the of the GP body shape, V class, um, maple top, and also he's using nickel wound strings. Mm. Uh, it makes it a little more. I use the word lo-fi. Oh, lo-fi. Yeah, that that that's you know? right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Let's check the difference from these two guitars. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this is this is the Grand Pacific. Um, 
then I'm gonna play. I'll play the same body size on, yep. the, on the flame top guitar, and you can really hear the difference between the two. Maple top guitar. Yeah. It's a little bit more scooped. There's mm. not as much mid range. Yeah. But there's a really nice treble presence. Really different sound, but yeah, it's, so it's it's something that I think people need to experience. It's to like hear. shiny, shiny. Yeah, good, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I, yeah. I love the words people come up with. To describe guitars. <laughs> yeah, that is good. And how about GT? GT. Yeah, Grand Theater. Let's talk about it. Grand Theater. Yeah, it's, this is a this is another project that he was able to complete um, during COVID, and it was a design that he um, had on his mind for a long time but just never had the time to get around to doing it mm. and actually what this came out of is that you know you've probably reviewed and you've probably played and seen you know the success of the gs mini mm. Uh, mm. which is a, an amazing amazingly successful yeah. guitar right so for lots of years people were like make an all solid wood gs mini mm. you know we'd love to have an all solid wood gs mini well he tried and the result it was not that different it wasn't different enough to justify building it mm -hmm. so he realized that he needed to make a whole new body mm. so he came up with the gt yeah. size which is smaller than our grand concert mm. but bigger than gs mini yeah it's in between it has a, a shorter scale length than a, a grand concert mm. it also has a narrower nut so it's a really compact um guitar um it's 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 not probably the shape that you would have if, you, if you're a, if you're a heavy strummer. Mm. If you want a lot of volume on mm. your guitar, this is probably not it. Mm. But if you are into finger picking and you, or, or you're smaller, mm. physically a smaller person, mm. this is a really comfortable mm. guitar. Yeah. And not only because of the size, but the scale length, because it's shorter, it's the the tension on the strings mm. is much lighter. So it's really easy to play this guitar. Mm. And um, we've had um, really good success. It was introduced with um, the um, ash, but back in the shamel ash back in sides, and now we've we've kind of expanded it into um, mahogany tops. And this is the 800 series version. There's a co version right behind you, and so the shape is growing, and um, people are really in enjoying it. Again, it's another shape that nobody's ever had before. So. Yeah, would you demonstrate it? Sure. Yeah, what yeah. it sounds like. And the last time we were here, we were talking about just the the bloom, yeah, <laughs> bloom and sustain, the, the bloom yeah. and sustain of, uh, of 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 our of his designs. You remember all the things, yeah. intimate sounding guitar yeah. great for finger picking good intonation and great also, intonation. Yeah, yeah and this actually is another and innovation mm. a gt has what's called c-class bracing c-class c-class mm. so this is not a v in here this is c mm. c yeah and it's it stands for cantilever and it's how a whole, is the shape um the shape is it kind of comes there's really main one main big brace that comes this way now yeah. and then a cross brace that comes across here mm. And another one, and I, actually, I have a photo that I can send you. Okay. You can you can insert. It looks it. like C. Yeah. No. Well, it it doesn't look like a C. It stands for the word cantilever. Ah. And a cantilever is a a mechanical a mechanical term that means 
something that has is very strong on one side, mm. very stiff on one mm. side, and very flexible on another side. Oh. An example is like a diving board. Ah, yeah. At a swimming yeah. pool, the base of ah, it. Ah, yeah, okay. The base of it, mm. where you walk up the stairs and you mm. get on the board, is mm. very strong. It yep. doesn't move, but the end of the, the diving board is very flexible. Mm. That kind so of that's thing. where that that's where the word comes from. Mm. C. C. Yeah. yeah. Can we compare these two? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So those two are going to be the same body size, but really the only difference is the tone woods. Okay. So this is a traditional rosewood Sitka spruce pairing. These are both Grand Theater guitars. Okay. And I think what we'll hear <clears throat> when we do this comparison is that this guitar is going to have the traditional nice amount of high end and low end, little scoop in the middle. Yeah. And then that's going to be a little bit darker and a little mm. bit a little bit dampened, I think. <laughs> difference in the high end on, when I play that little, when I play those notes on the B string. It's a little bit more rounded than the Sitka and Spruce. Yeah. So the Koa top on that guitar kind of makes the sound a little bit more compressed. Yeah. You use the word rounded, same, same kind of thing. Rich and compressed? R yeah. yeah, rich and compressed. Mm. So it's a cool, that's a cool guitar. But this shape is something that I mm. think is really... A really fun guitar to play. I've actually written written a few things on this guitar when I got it. I was I had a sample I was playing. I was and mm. when I tried to play the same thing on a on a bigger guitar, I couldn't actually yeah. do it. Mm. I couldn't do it physically because yeah. <laughs> because it's really easy to like hammer mm. hammer on and, mm. and do mm. pull offs. And stuff. Can't even do it. Mm. And that's really a lot more difficult on mm. a bigger guitar. So. Easier to play. Yeah, easier to play. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. New models this year. What, the other new guitar series that's come out this year is that mm. we've redone the 400 series. Yeah, 400 guitar. series. Yeah, yeah. So, so Andy has um, introduced new guitars in the 400 series, which is a real traditional, mm. very good selling guitar for us. Again, Rosewood mm. back and sides. Um, and this year, all the 400s are coming with the Sunburst tops. Mm, that we raised. Yeah. Yet. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. And um, it's just a change, and I think that we'll still be able to to order natural tops. Mm. But you know, we always like to make things. Th th this guitar just looks great. Like you know, mm. it looks very vintagey, kind of with the white binding. And yeah. Stuff. And being again this Grand Pacific body shape, which we've talked about with this guitar and also with the flame top. Mm. Um, but now rosewood and spruce, it's a cannon. It's a big guitar. get down on this guitar if you want mm. if you want to hit it hard if you want a lot of volume on yeah, it so. it's definitely a new section yeah of tail so grand pacific know. is is still evolving mm. uh the body shape yeah uh, it's still evolving and every time we come this actually this is the first time i played one on this trip because i've mm. seen it mm. um, but i hadn't had a chance to play it so i very mm. i was very excited to play it yeah 오늘 이렇게 앤디와 함께 그동안 코비드 시국 동안 테일러 있었던 일들 그리고 앤디가 또 개인적으로 괴로웠던 뭐 그런 순간들에 대해서도 좀 얘기를 해 봤고 그리고 그 기간 동안에 또 새로 저희가 기존 리뷰했던 AD 모델들 GT 모델들 이게 또 어떻게 어, 만들어지게 됐고 저희가 리뷰를 하게 되는지 과정에 대해서 또 간단한 이야기들을 들어봤습니다 그리고 직접 NDA 연주를 통해서 어, 비교 시연도 해봤고요 그리고 아직까지 우리가 리뷰를 하지 않았던 400 시리즈 또 
고지 여러분들께 정식으로 리뷰를 해 드릴 수 있을 것 같은데 이렇게 테일러의 그 코비드 시국 동안의 3년과 그리고 앞으로의 또 플랜에 대해서 들어봤고요 저희는 이번에 새로 나온 기타들을 그래서 이번에는 흐명의 롤을 앤디가 해서 저희가 같이 리뷰를 해 보도록 할 겁니다 네 저희 다음 시간에 이제 두개 모델을 리뷰를 해볼 건데요 AD, CB, E, SB SB가 썬버스트죠 썬버스트 네, 같이 리뷰를 해볼 거고요 그리고 B, E 이건 빌더스 에디션입니다 빌더스 에디션 814 C, E 모델까지 리뷰를 해볼 거예요 저는 지금 굉장히 기대가 되면서 또 아주 뭔가 걱정이 됩니다 늘 항상 흐명과 맞춰오는 이 어탑 리뷰 호흡을 과연 엔디아 잘 맞출 수 있을지 제가 뭘 해야 될지 약간 걱정이 됩니다 네, 다음 시간에 여러분들도 본적 없는 엔디와의 네, 어탑 리뷰 기대해 주시고요 그리고 또 마지막 시간에 어, Find Your Fit 이런 또 재밌는 코너 속의 코너가 준비가 되어 있으니까 끝까지 이번에 엔디 특집 4부자 끝까지 채널 고정해 주시길 바라겠습니다 그럼 마저 자, 마지막으로 인사드리고 끝내도록 할게요. Well, thanks a lot for having me. Like I said, we've been really busy. Yep. So, see you next time. Acoustic Times. Times.